What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive. And of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs coming at you with another new video. Hope you're doing all very well out there today. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel right now with all notifications on. It's free, so hit that free red subscribe button and definitely turn on that bell. And of course, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So with that being said, my friends, let's jump on into it. So we've got some really interesting news for you. You could even call it breaking news. All right. So listen to this one. A bunch of you guys told me about this in the past like 48 hours. So thank you to every single one of you who brought this up. Is DoorDash still thinking about buying Instacart? Whoa. The deal has stalled. However, listen to this. Delivery services have been making major talking points during the COVID-19 pandemic era. That's the first time I've heard it referred to as the pandemic era, by the way. With brands like Amazon, uh, UPS, and Walmart taking center stage for their core e-commerce and delivery models. However, other companies like DoorDash and Instacart have also played a pivotal role in the COVID economy. And it doesn't look like the trend is halting. So let's go on to the next one here. With recent growth in tow, DoorDash executives met with folks from Instacart to discuss a potential acquisition. Has the, convert, has the conversation progressed and will Instacart become part of the DoorDash portfolio? Interesting. According to the information, sources close to the matter reported that DoorDash and Instacart executives have met multiple times over the last two months. The conversation centered around a potential Instacart acquisition for the public company DoorDash. Reportedly, DoorDash valued Instacart at around $50 billion to $60 billion. I mean, that's, that's serious, serious money. Earlier this year, Instacart completed a funding round worth $265 million, which brought the corporate valuation to $39 billion. Founder Apurva Mehta also joined billionaire territory thanks to that funding round. Meanwhile, DoorDash maintains a $62.27 uh, $62 billion market capitalization as of August 12th. The company was worth $38 billion once its IPO hit the market. Realistically, the two companies have similar valuations. Their, uh, their services differ slightly because Instacart works with grocery stores while DoorDash focuses on the restaurant food delivery. Because of this, the two could be synergistic rather than competitive. And I agree, I, I think it could be a good mix, potentially. The acquisition conversation between DoorDash and Instacart might have stalled, but DoorDash and Instacart have paused conversations about a potential acquisition deal for the time being. Uh, reports suggest that a lot of the hesitation has to do with concern about antitrust regulation. This is a realistic concern. While the U.S. government hasn't been anywhere near as hard and fast as Chinese regulators on a monopolistic uh, breakdown, the new FTC chair, Lena Khan, uh, is undeniably strict on antitrust. Khan has a bone to pick with big tech. Frankly, it's wise for DoorDash and Instacart executives to understand that they aren't immune from regulators' reach. Interesting. Uh, so what other companies has DoorDash acquired? Uh, they've acquired five companies during its history, Chowbotics, Scotty Labs, Caviar, Level 5, and Rickshaw. Granted, none of these companies are popular in the same way that Instacart is. An acquisition like this would dramatically increase DoorDash's corporate valuation. Right now, the conversation remains entirely speculative and neither company has taken concrete steps to suggest that the acquisition will proceed. The hesitation says a lot about the state of antitrust in the US. It could also suggest that companies like DoorDash have major growth but lack profit, aren't as unwavering as executives might think. Let's see here. Instacart remains a privately held company. If a public company like DoorDash purchases the brand, that will change. However, an investment into Instacart must be made by direct consumerism, at least for the time being. 
as if we needed another excuse to get our our groceries just delivered. So, DoorDash really wants to buy Instacart, but at the moment, it doesn't seem like it's it's moving forward uh, right now. I guess they're trying to figure out how they need to go about this. So, what do we think overall? Well, at first, I think you know I, I thought that the two should be separate. However, as I've said in previous videos, if this provides additional opportunities for dashers or just drivers in general to make more money, I'm all for it. But I am not, me personally, I am not a shopper. I don't like looking at someone's grocery list and going and trying to figure out all the items and stuff. I want a pre, pre you know, ordered uh, or a prepaid order. I come in, hi, I'm picking up for John, and then they hand me the food and I drop it off and rinse and repeat. That's how I feel. In the chat or the comments, how do you guys feel? Do you think that DoorDash should buy Instacart or they should just leave it alone? Let me know how you feel. And if you guys ever wanna send me anything for a video or just have a question, email me at paydrivestories at gmail.com. That's the best place to reach me. But the other best place to reach me is through the Patreon app. And you can sign up right now today uh, down below, there's a link in the description or in the pin top comment, patreon.com slash paid to drive. You can reach me on there. And anyone who signs up, I give you shout outs in all new videos. So I'm gonna do that right now. When you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Ginny Thomas, and of course, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and v v Valerie Brown. That's right, everybody. So sign up down below for Patreon. And of course, look in the description to sign up on the free gas app called Get Upside. That's right, everybody. If you're not on there, you should be. Seriously, links in the bottom of the description. Download it for free on your smartphone. Go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it today. That's right, everybody. And if you want one of these awesome I Deliver t-shirts or many other designs, go check out paytodrivestore.com. Links down below. Everything's on sale. Get your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, all different colors, sizes, designs, paytodrivestore.com. That's the place to go check out. And if you made it to the end of this video, simply leave a comment saying end 239 END 239 just lets me know you made it to the end hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified with that little bell whenever I post something new hit that like button just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job and until next time get that money get that honey keep hustling and keep bustling and we'll see you next time right here on paid to drive and paid to drive vlogs drive safe be well and as always we'll see you on the next one